Hello used car drivers. Today we're going to take a look at a beautiful 2008 Ford F-150 Super Crew. It is an XL trim. Paint is in awesome condition, especially for the age. Body's real straight with very minor damage of any kind, really. All in all, this truck is in awesome condition. A little dusty as it lives next to the road here, next to the highway. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So first I'll show you the passenger side here. So being that is a, it is an XL, it is fairly base. However, it does still come with a couple options, namely being the power windows and door locks and the power mirrors. It does have an aftermarket stereo with Bluetooth and USB and all that good stuff. Standard sized glove box. I like when these door panel cubbies do have a space for a bottle. Sometimes you're going on a long trip and you got a lot of water bottles or a lot of bottles with you. Seats are in great condition as well. These back seats also, there's a little lever right there that you can lift up and the seat itself will lift up. A common thing I see uh, people do with these trucks is they'll actually build a shelf right in there so they can keep more tools and you know other things, uh, perhaps paperwork uh, in a, some sort of a file holder back here without loading stuff onto this seat that's going to not always be the same height and then risk also staining the seat or damaging the seat, what have you. Again, standard door panel back here. Just the door lock and the power window switch. It is the short bed. You do have the option to lock the tailgate. Bed is in excellent condition. It's standard for these truck beds to get scratches from people loading stuff in and out, but you can tell that this truck was not worked too hard. As if you look at the ribs, in the bed here, there's very little, if any, denting. So there hasn't been many heavy loads put back here. Another great thing is you have, at all four corners of this bed, you have the cargo tie downs that are bolted to the bed. Tailgate functions smoothly. I thought this was kind of neat. Ford recommends BP. Again, standard back door panel, bench seat. You can seat a total of six in this truck as it's got bench in the back and then this center armrest, as I'll show you in a bit, will lift up and uh, give you the option for another seat. Let me go ahead and pick this seat up. So as you can see with, these, with this back seat up, there's a substantial amount of room back here. And leg room is also not an issue with these trucks. This are, you know, it's meant to hold five or six fully grown adult men uh, to take them to the job site. You can see I've got tons of knee room here. Even if the seat, which I'm not sure if it is all the way back, it's pretty far back. Um, it's got this little concave area here to tuck your knees into if you had to. But again, I have no need to. I'm a little over six foot tall. Coming into the driver's side, you've got your standard switches here. Window lock, power window switches, power door lock, as well as your power, min blah, excuse me, your power mirrors right up there. Manual seats, although it does have an adjustable lumbar support. Probably not picking that up on camera though. You just twist that back and forth to adjust that. The steering wheel is still adjustable with this handle right here. Nice, easy to read gauges, very clear. Here's that aftermarket Kenwood stereo deck here. 
with a little storage compartment down there that also has the remote in there. I love these climate controls because of how simple they are. That's something that I don't think technology should advance on. This is the epitome. This is the best that climate controls should ever get. Uh, the reason I say that is I'm always finding myself adjusting these. And once you memorize, which with three dials, it's not very difficult to memorize, you know, probably less than a week you'd have it down. Um, once you memorize what each of these do in their positions, it's very easy to keep your hands, or at least one hand, your eyes on the road, and you can just reach over and adjust those uh, by memory. So I like that, I think it's a safety item. So typically your four wheel drive switch is gonna go here, but they've got a little coin holder there. You do have a couple 12 volt outlets, one right there, the other holding a cigarette lighter. Your cup holders, have a little push-in switch to engage, that's them right there. And an additional little storage cubby right there. Now, as I mentioned, the center armrest, which is nicely cushioned, does lift up. There is a little lever or handle right there that you pull in to do so. And then you get a pretty fairly good sized center seat right there. Go ahead and click that again. There we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at the engine. There's your hood pull right there. So this truck has the awesome 4.6 liter V8 engine. I am in love with this engine. I actually bought another vehicle specifically because it had this engine. This is a half a million mile engine with proper maintenance all day long. It's a little dusty again and noisy with the semis going by. There we go. Uh, anyway, it's a little dusty again as it lives on the side of the highway there. But a little cleaning, it all clean up. As you can see, everything is pretty easily accessible. The hardest time you're gonna have is gonna be uh, your uh, servicing on the passenger side of the engine there. But if you had to get down here, like to your steering linkage or stuff like that, very accessible there. You also have your coil packs for your spark plugs located right on top, so doing spark plugs is not difficult. Same thing with fuel injectors. Look at these injector rails right there and right there, right on top, super easy to use. Uh, your throttle body's right there. All in all, this truck's super easy to maintain yourself if you were interested in doing that. Um, but if you're just looking to top off your fluids when you pop your hood, everything's well labeled. Washer fluid's right there. You've got your oil fill cap right there, power steering fluid here, and then your brake and coolant reservoirs right there. And they're all easily accessible. The most difficult one is gonna be your power steering just because it's located a little further into the engine bay. But again, it's not that far at all, not too difficult to access. A Couple things I'd like to add too before I let you go is this uh, 4.6 liter V8 is rated at 248 horsepower. Again, super dependable engine. And then this truck does come equipped with a tow package and it's actually rated for 6,300 pounds. You can see that right there. So that's been a quick look at this 2008 Ford F-150 crew cab, two wheel drive. Again, this great truck has only got 124,000 miles and a lot, hundreds of thousands of miles and many years left in it. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next vehicle.